I remember hearing on the news that the storm was coming. My aunt stayed on a street, ironically called Flood Street, which is a block away from my house in a two-story home. So we figured, well, even if the water rises, she could go up in the attic. I have two daughters. They evacuated the Friday before the storm with their father in Mississippi, so I knew that they was okay. <laughs> Me and their dad ain't together anymore, so they left with him and his wife. I myself went to my friend Leroy's home on the other side of the canal. It's still the ninth ward, but I thought I'd be safe there. About 4 a.m. Monday morning, I woke up. There was no electricity. The lights were already out and we could hear the wind gusts and I thought, God, what's going on? So we stepped outside on the porch and up the street you could see something approaching. It was a refrigerator. A refrigerator floating down the water in some sort of tidal surge of water debris and water just roaring in. Water was falling from the sky and I said, oh my God, that's not rain. Because you could smell the rain and you could taste the water. I mean, if you're from New Orleans, you know the difference between the rain and the lake and the canal. It all smells different. It tastes different. I'm like, God, that's the lake. <laughs> 